Hey everybody, I'm The Maple Man. Welcome to my YouTube channel and welcome back to part 51 of my Sims 4 gameplay that I call Invasion. It all started with four aliens crashing to Earth and they all have different goals to accomplish throughout this gameplay. And along the way, we've veered off in a number of different directions which have been a blast. In the last couple of parts, I can't remember if it was the last part of the part before, um, we started cloning people. And one child in particular, uh, one of our characters, her grandchild, Stray, uh, we cloned him four times because, you know, why not? <laughs> and we've done a couple of things with the quadruplets now, and we're going to keep going on with that. I think it's great fun. I love this character and character and character and character. <laughs> So I think that's enough said for me. It kind of brings you up to speed if you have no idea what I'm talking about. I don't blame you. <laughs> this game is getting strange. So if you have any questions, comments, or anything you'd like to say, please feel free to leave them in the comment section. I do read comments, and when I can, I do try to reply. So I think that's enough for me. Peace and love, everybody. Let's play. So I was playing ahead a little bit. Um, I was going to play ahead like a few days because I was kind of like... Um, most of the characters are just sort of skilling up and not doing anything too exciting. But then um, the Festival of Snow came up and I have not done this with in any of my gameplays. And I thought, you know what? Four kids, Festival of Snow, let's do this. I'm not sure what states any of them are in right now. So let's hope for the best and let's go do the Festival of Snow. All right, we are at the Festival of Snow. We have H. I am going to bring the other people here too. Bring Egg here. Bring Xylo here. Now we got the whole game. Where we should. Where are they? Oh, there they are. Okay, so we are at the Stefani. Everybody's going in here. This is not the Festival of Snow. Oh, maybe H knows where it is. Okay, this this might be it. It doesn't look too horribly exciting. All right, but that's okay. Okay, the kids, what, what are you doing, kiddo? Why are you guys all getting in your bathing suits? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> okay, so we'll do the Festival of Snow in a little bit. Um, I have a feeling you guys are going to freeze to death if you do this, because this is not... Oh, wait, no, this is a hot springs. That's right. Okay, I'm going to let them enjoy the hot springs for a few minutes then. I'm just gonna make sure that they don't freeze to death. Xylo, this was your favorite spot. Okay, you're shoveling some snow. Oh, I love the little kids have all the little flippers. Okay. And Grandma's in there with them. Okay, everybody's doing fine. All right, they're gonna enjoy a bit of the hot springs. That's okay. Why <laughs> thinking of cupcakes? Who, who is this one? Dax, Dax. So we're definitely seeing some of the characters come out in the kids. Since they're all here, might as well talk about them. There's Connor, who was the last one. He sort of, he broke the cloning machine. And he was not, um, he hasn't been like the best um, child around. I just want to make sure he doesn't freeze. Okay, what does it say? Warm feelings. This is, okay, that was Connor. This is Dax. Dax is the one who's always like cleaning, which is pretty awesome. Look at this kid relaxing. Brandon is, um, he, he's, he does his homework on his own. Uh, so that, he's kind of the brainiac. Um, Dax is the neat one and Connor is sort of the mischievous one. And then there's Stray, who's the original, who just sort of does everything. Okay, they're all relaxing. Just to make sure this guy over here, Connor, is not freezing. Dax, Connor. No, he's fine. Okay, I'm going to see where the Festival of Snow is. We saw the little yamakin or whatever his name is, over here somewhere. The weird green guy, if you don't know. Um, so I'm assuming this is where it's supposed to be. So I'm going to get the kids to come this way. Hopefully they'll just automatically come... Uh, oh, ask for a capsule. Yes. Okay, who is I on here? You're going to ask for a capsule. I don't know what a capsule does. Uh, you're going to ask for a capsule, and you, Stray, are also going to ask for a capsule. Let's see what this does. And I want to make sure that they actually get changed when they get out of the water. So they don't freeze. Uh, no. 
<laughs> Come on, kid. I know you're excited to get a capsule from the big green thing, whatever that is, but don't freeze to death. Okay, so they don't freeze, we're gonna get them changed. <laughs> I have not seen, okay, which one are you? This is getting so confusing. Connor, Connor, there you go. Change your outfit, let's do that first. Let's get your winter wear on. That's you. Uh, you're not out of the water yet. Okay, I'm scared that they're gonna freeze. Not that it's really a big deal. We'll just clone another one if he freezes, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, stop that. Get changed. <laughs> Please. Please get changed. Please get changed. You're gonna freeze. You're gonna freeze. <laughs> Jeez. No, he's, he's run into the festival first. Please get changed into your winter wear. You're scaring me. Yeah, I know you're uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> Tired? There you go. Now ask him for a capsule. Then you can collapse whenever. Ask for a capsule. Ask for a capsule. <laughs> ask for a capsule. Let's see, what what is he doing? What are these? Way to go! Connor? Way to go, Connor! You were the first one to get it done. So now... Let's uh, see, you're extremely tired, that's fine. Let's see what else we can do here. Um, I don't know what the capsule does. So do we have it in here? Capsule, rare simi capsule, what can we do with this? Open the simi capsule, okay. Whoa, whoa, what's going on? You got a medieval grim? What do we do with that now? <laughs> oh. It's just an item. Okay, well, it's something. Let's check in on these guys. You are, oh, you're having a moment. That's fine. Where are you? You do not want to get out of the water. All right, that's fine. Dax, Dax, you are the calm one. Yeah, you're like, I'm just gonna relax. That's fine. Okay, oh. Yay, you got a capsule. Which one are you? Stray, Stray the original. Let's open the capsule. What did we get? We got a Jasmine holiday. Oh, they're little like people. Okay, and I heard fireworks going off. Did we miss them? And is that it of the winter festival? Oh, look at this. What is this? Disable Yamachen visits. Huh? I don't know what that means. Okay, is this where we're supposed to go? Okay, this is where we go sledding and stuff. Why is it so dark? Oh, it's 7.30, the lights will come on soon. Okay, I wanna check on in on everybody. Make sure everybody's doing okay. You're not freezing. Okay, Dax, you were relaxing, that's fine. The girls are there, where are the boys? You're, oh, you're making a oh. snowman, okay. Ooh, I think the kids should do that too, and... Oh, you're just hanging out. Okay. Dax can do his own thing. You got an energy drink, so that's great. Maybe you should make a snow pal. Build a snow pal together. Oh, that's going to bring everybody, isn't it? Well, that's okay. Oh, okay, all his brothers are here. All right, everybody's... Oh, Persia's here. Okay. All right. Well, this is cool. Okay, all of the kids have their winter wear on, so I think everybody's coming. Everybody's coming to build snow pals. Good, good, good. Persia's fine. She's got her winter wear on. Some of them aren't quite doing anything. Which one are you? Stray. Stray, you, you seem bored. You're tense. Oh, because they're loners. That's right. That's right. Oh, look at this. Oh, look at this. This is so cool. Okay, there's a lot of, like, decorations and stuff, which is kind of cool, but I'm not seeing a whole heck of a lot for them to do. Um, okay, he's annoying, Nickel. You don't want to do that. Um, can she, can she like freeze him? You know, it would be very wintry to use. Hmm, okay, she can't use the Simray and Yamachen. Okay, well, you know what? In the spirit, she should find someone to freeze, right? Maybe she'll freeze Ray this guy, Luca. Just for fun, just for fun, just freeze Ray him. You know, it is the winter festival, or I don't know what it is. It's also talk like a pirate day. So there's quite a lot going on. 
And I just want to make sure none of the kids are freezing to death. He's going home because he's so tired. Oh, I'm sorry there, buddy. Oh, yay! Getting into the spirit. I love it. A living winter sculpture, but, you know, it's festive. Oh, look at the snow pals. All right, that's awesome. What? Don't be so shocked. It's just like a winter sculpture. Okay, where is everybody else? Because I have a feeling things are not going to go... Things are going to go downhill quickly like they normally do. Hey, you're making friends. Who are you? Okay, which one are you? Brandon. Okay, Brandon. Brandon, the studious one, is uh, saying ahoy me maybe to... Uh, Lucas, and you are Stray, right? You Stray? No, wait, hold still. These kids move so fast. Oh, that is Stray. Okay, he wanted to say hello to her. Say ahoy, my matey, to uh, Mika. I just want to make sure that these... Okay, you're just tired. You're tired and starving. That's fine. We're going to be going home soon. And this kid's just shoveling. That must be Dax. Oh, no, it's Brandon. Okay. Where is Dax? Dax, where are you? Well, Dax hasn't left yet. Oh, Dad's hang oh, Dax is hanging out with Dad who hates children. Just complain about fickle fortunes. Talk about your favorite animal. Oh, he's hanging out with his mom and dad. He can cuddle his dad? Oh, oh, he hates it. He's like, I hate children. Why do I suddenly have four of them? All right, let's pester Dad a bit, because we didn't really get great angles on it at um, the park the other day. Oh, Dax. Okay, now now you need to use the... No, wait, which one is you? Which one is you? This is getting so confusing. That's you. Chatting with H, Zylo, and Persia. Okay, I want to find out where... Where the heck did Egg go to? What is Egg doing? Okay, okay. Are you gonna go on a sled? Oh, egg, that would be awesome. Okay, let's see Egg do this. Is he going? Hey, <laughs> he gave up. <laughs> go sledding on the bunny slope, let's do it. I wanna see that. <laughs> That's the bunny slope. Oh, that was awesome, thank you for that. Oh, yeah, that was fun. Way to go, buddy. Okay, I think I'm going to start sending everybody home because I think I'm really starting to um, push my luck that no one's frozen to death yet. <gasps> Sun is here! Sun! Of course you're here. Are you trying out the mountains a bit more? Don't worry, we'll get back to you. Okay, we've got a couple children here. We've got... This is either Dax or Brett. That's Dax. He never left the house. Connor is heading home. I want to find out where did Connor make it to. Okay, he really needs to sleep. I get it. They're all leaving now. And I think everybody's fine. This was kind of fun. Okay, so I'm going to head back to the house. Oh, it is midnight on Saturday. So I'm going to play ahead till tomorrow. And then uh, we got a couple of other things I want to definitely do. But I wanted to give this a shot. I wanted to see... What the snow festival was, um, not a whole heck of a lot to do, but you know, there were some things and everybody's enjoying themselves. Now we have fireworks somewhere. <gasps> cool. So I did just zip ahead till the next morning and the only one awake is Connor. Um, and he just, I don't know, for whatever reason, he just always looks slightly evil, but I did want to sort of start here because it was a great shot of what, uh, the quadruplets wear to bed. It is a shirt with a robot on it. I think everything about them is so fantastic for this gameplay. <laughs> so Connor is the evil one. We know that. And I may have Dax and Brandon confused because Brendan was cleaning up, cleaning up, cleaning up all night because they were all on and off sleeping, having nightmares, having the monster under the bed show up. But I'm just going to ease into the day here. I'm going to have most of the adults just work on their plans. Um, or their skills and their aspirations. I'm going to check on the kiddos because they are... Connor is level three on everything. Um, let's check the others here. Uh, this should be Stray. He just needs a bit of social. Like, he just needs to talk to somebody for like two seconds and he's got social to level three. Brandon, he's level four of creativity. And this kiddo... 
Oh, he needs a little work. He needs some mental and motor. Who are you? Dax, 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 Dax. We need you to get up if you're not too exhausted. So we are gonna, I'm just gonna put it on play, but Dax is the only one I'm really gonna work on to get his skills to level three. I'm gonna get him playing chess. I'm gonna wake some of the other, some of the adults up, get them working on things as well. Um, yeah, and Stray, yeah, we'll take care of your little bit of social when you're ready. Uh, the main one I wanna work on here is Xylo. Let's wake him up, get him something to eat, and I want to show you what we're gonna be doing next with him. Uh, well, after he eats something, he was cooking some stuff all night, so we'll get him to cook one of the, or eat one of the things he made, and for his job, it says, do a space mission. Now, we can wait till Geekon is around to blast off into space, but I thought, you know, he is level, what, level eight? Level eight of the astronaut career. He had the choice. It happened off screen, unfortunately, a few, a little while back, where he could choose to be a space ranger or a smuggler, and I decided he'd be the space ranger, but obviously he needs to go up into space to get to the next level. So I think now, even though I was gonna wait till he was like level 10 of his career to start building the rocket ship, I thought we'd do it now, you know? Um, yeah, and he could do a couple of test flights before they head back to the planet. So I'm just gonna see where and how we do this. We may have to move some stuff in the backyard. I think we just go into build mode. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. Here's where we're gonna do it. He has to go on a space mission. What we'll do is we'll build the steampunk flingamajig um, so that he can uh, go into space with that, hopefully fulfill a mission. Um, if it doesn't work, we'll do GeekCon because the, the one I want him to build for them to all go home in is the Apollo rocket ship. And he does have to reach level 10 of the astronaut career in the Space Ranger branch, which he's in. So we'll start with this. Is there enough room? Oh, there is. Start building this. I think it's gonna take a while. And in between that, I'm gonna get the adults waking up and doing the things. Oh, Egg is in an awful state. We'll get him up, get him going, because I need him to work on his fame. We'll do that behind the scenes. Oh, oh wow, it's building fast. Brandon, uh, maybe I'll get you cleaning. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> okay, Brandon is the neat one. <laughs> Oh, wow. Okay, we got a rocket ship going. Murphle Bavosi. Yeah, okay, I hear ya. Egg, 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 egg. Oh, you are in a playful mood. Let's give some speeches. Let's get that fame up. No, you're gonna go play in garbage? No, 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 you're a politician. You have to rise above the urge of playing in garbage. Yeah, this is your very own podium out on the front lawn. Oh, and you dressed up for the occasion. Great, work on that fame. Is anybody gonna listen to you? Eh, no, of course not. That's fine. That's fine. See, Brandon just went by himself and picked that, cleaned that stuff up. Brandon's the neat freak. Okay, I keep getting them confused. Now I know Brandon's the neat freak. Yep, he's just cleaning up. He's, you know, he may just stay. <laughs> when the rest age up, I think he'll just stay. Oh, he, he's up. He should give this kid a friendly introduction. Who is this? Alexander Goth. Oh, yeah. Yeah, our alien hybrids should definitely meet the Goths. Egg is giving it his all in the back. Octo is watching. I have the other characters doing things. This is great. Oh, he's saying, oh, it's snowing. It's a fall day, but it's snowing. But he likes it. It's snowing from first snow of the year. There you go. Uh, goof around with Alexander Goth. I like his scout's outfit. Oh, they don't like each other. I'm not sure why. Okay, he's like, well, I'm just going to go back and clean something. <laughs> okay, so I decided to change it up a little bit. I wanted to see the pancakes eat the, the crazy fruit. And you know what? They weren't doing it. So I've taken control of the household, and I'm going to have them do it and then we might come and visit them and see if it's actually taken. So they're hungry, they're gonna eat the apples, especially Bob. Uh, I keep calling them apples, they're the bizarre fruit. I wanna see if it does anything. So this is a kickback to Strangerville, which we finished quite a while ago. I just wanna see if the bizarre fruit still has an effect, and I think the best way to test it out is on the pancakes, because they've been miserable to 
or Bob anyway has been miserable to our people for a long time. Oh, here we go. Uh, okay. They are possessed. <laughs> Experiment worked. <laughs> All right. So, you know, I had to take control for it to happen because they weren't eating the fruit on their own. Um, but there we go. So hopefully we see them around the neighborhood in their, uh, you know, their new <laughs> way of doing these. Oh, Bob is late for work. Oh, I think he has an excuse. Oh, look at him go. Look at him go. <laughs> and there's our house over there. <laughs> okay, well, yeah, like I said, a little bit of a kickback to uh, Strangerville. Uh, I think this is great. I think this just adds to the neighborhood, adds to the story. There goes Eliza. Yeah, she's, uh, she's just going for a jog. That's all. That's all. You know, just checking out, getting some fresh air and, you know, getting some activity. It's good. It's good. Yeah, yeah. She's a quirky one. She's a quirky one. Okay, so <laughs> I just had to do that. I had to do that. They, it was, oh, he's on our property. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna switch back to our family, and maybe they'll, uh, you know, just be hanging around the neighborhood. I think that'd be really cool to see them walking around like that. Yeah, oh yeah, he's totally possessed. Look at his eyes. <laughs> Bye, Bob. Okay, so we're back where we belong. Egg, I do want you to continue giving speeches because I need your fame to get up. Because yeah. Dustin Broke is a, well, we have a lot or Egg is a is an, a rising yeah, star. And Ooh, Dustin Jane. Broke is a B, B lister, so I'm hoping it's the next level of fame, and then they can become friends. But for the rest of this part, I decided it's a it feels a little early, but I think we're going to age the kids up. We've done a few things with them; it's been a lot of fun. But um, I think, oh, Catherine is wondering if I want to go over to her house and hang out. No, but I think, um, you know, I, I'm more interested to see them uh, age up to teenagers and get some characteristics. Um, I'm going to totally randomize Stray, uh, but I am going to like maybe tailor a bit of the aspiration and traits for the others, and maybe Stray as well too. Um, but first things first, Octo has to bake uh, a chocolate, uh, no, a blue cake, because they are part alien. They are part alien, it's always a blue cake. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Oh, is he inspiring people? Are people watching it? Or is he just excited about blue cake? Who is this? Martine. And Everett, come on. Watch, watch Egg's speech. Give him more fame. Oh, shoot. Somebody doesn't have their skills all to level three. That's what we need to work on. Okay, you're good. You're good. You're good. You. You need to get on the monkey bars. And you're fine. Okay, oh, I bet this is Connor again. Okay, play on the monkey bars, who's this? Connor, yeah, Connor the evil one. Connor the evil one, yeah. Doesn't surprise me. So they're all pretty much, I'm just gonna wait until Dax gets to level three on his motor skill, then we'll age them up. It's eight o'clock Sunday night. Part of me wishes we could play them uh, as young kids for a lot longer, but you know, they're all the same. I don't know what to do with them other than to take them out and have them bug their father. I think, I'm very curious if they go and as they become teenagers, obviously they'll look alike, but will they all be identical again or will they start getting different haircuts and different clothes? I don't know. I don't know. Okay, these kids are just like hovering around the cake. They're like, we know it's for us. We know it's for us. Okay, so we're at like 92% now of... Dax's motor skill, so I think we'll start aging them up. Oh, he reached motor level skill three. Let's do it. I'm gonna wake everybody up so that we can have a grand birthday. And the first person, where is Stray? Where's Stray? Stray, you are the first, you are the original. Let's make a wish. Actually, let's celebrate, see who comes. I want everybody to come and celebrate the birthday. <laughs> okay, that thunder was quite something. What's going on? Listen to Octo freak out. Oh, he's calming his grandmother down. He's like, it's okay. 
It's only thunder, it happens. All right, Stray, blow out the candles then. And he teleported. Oh, but he's aging up out there. Great, Stray aged up. Teenage dumb, romantic travails, sweaty gym shorts, and a hormonal upheavals await. Best buckle those boots. The ride starts here. Okay, let's choose his aspiration. Pick a random number between 1 and 13. It's 5. It's 5. Oh, family! Okay. Pick a random number between 1 and 4. It's 2. 2. He wants a vampire family. We're okay with that. It's odd, but we're okay with it. Now we're going to pick a trait. Pick a random number between 1 and 48. It's 36. It's 36. He's a child of the oceans. Okay. All right. So I think that lets him call the elemental spirits. So he wants to be a vampire. He can call the elemental spirits. But he also wants to be a loner. <laughs> let's have a look at Stray. Oh! Oh my god, he's got a mohawk. <laughs> oh, oh my god, Stray is so cool. <gasps> Whoa. Oh my god, I'm so happy with Stray. Uh, the mohawk just kind of goes with everything. Oh, Stray is now a spellcaster. You can view his spellbook by opening his perks panel or by clicking on the button in this window. <gasps> okay, we're going to do that now. And then we're going to age the other ones up. Oh, okay. I remember this from when we had Lion start his um, little, uh, little bit of Realm of Magic. Uh, I love this. I love this. So, um, so he's got this book. He can go into different schools of magic. It looks like there's four of them. And yeah, these are the different spells you can learn under each different magic. I have not done any of this, um, but we'll put it away for now. We'll put it away. Um, wow. Wow. I love this kid. That's awesome. Okay, Brandon. Brandon's turn. I wonder if they're all going to have the pink mohawk. <laughs> I kind of doubt it. I think they're all going to take different routes now. Okay, come on, Brandon. Let's celebrate. Let everybody know it's your turn. And blow out the candles. Now he's probably going to teleport outside too. Okay, Brandon, second clone. <gasps> there he is. Okay, Brandon aged up. Teenage dumb. Blah, 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 blah. I'm not going to read that four times today. <laughs> So let's pick an aspiration. Now, Brandon um, was the neat one, Dax was the smart one, and Connor was the mischievous one. So we want to kind of, I'm still going to try to randomize it, but I'm going to do it so that it's something that's still randomized but goes with sort of those traits that we sort of saw already in their, uh, as they were children. Pick a random number between 1 and 13. It's 5. It's five. He wants a family one, too. Pick a random number between one and four. It's three. It's three. So Brandon wants to be a super parent. That goes with him being sort of neat and everything. Now let's pick his trait. Pick a random number between one and 48. It's 11. 11. He's a music lover. Sure. Sure, that goes with it. Let's have a look with him. Oh, they are not identical anymore. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. There's Brandon. And Brandon has a spell book, too. So he's a spellcaster. He wants to be a super parent. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, he's not as cool as Stray. Stray definitely was like, I want to look different from all my brothers for a while now. I do not want anybody to look like me. Now, let's find Dax. Dax, where are you? You're asleep. Dax, you were the third clone. Let's celebrate. And he's scared. Everyone's scared because it's a thunderstorm. There you go. Way to celebrate, Dax. Now, your turn. Make a wish and blow out the candles. Now, Dax is the smart one because he was doing his homework all the time. And yeah, he teleported outside. <laughs> Dax aged up. Pick an aspiration. 
Pick a random number between 1 and 13. It's 8. It's 8. Okay, it wasn't 5. <laughs> <gasps> Perfect knowledge. I am not, honestly, I would say if I was like making things up, but this one's good. Okay, so the only one I'm not going to pick here is the vampire one because we already have one doing a vampire thing. So I, I don't want another one interested in vampires, but everything else should be okay. Pick a random number between one and seven. The answer is seven. Seven. <gasps> Archaeology scholar. So he wants to do that jungle adventure. Cool. And now his trait. Pick a random number between 1 and 48. The answer is 24. 24. Lazy? No. That doesn't work. Like I said, I'm not going to lie. I'm going to do it until we get ones that... they're At least they're okay. If it completely goes against what we've seen of their characters, I'm not letting it. I'm not picking it. Pick a random number between 1 and 48. Take 2. It's 46. 46. 48, 47, 46. Self-absorbed? Sure. He was... Yeah, that kind of works. That's okay. Oh. Yep, they're not identical anymore by any stretch of the imagination. And he probably has a spell book too. He has to go to the washroom. Oh, it didn't say he has a spell book. Why not? Oh, he does. He must. He's got the spell thing here. Okay, well, Dax, okay, they're getting more plain looking as we go. <laughs> Actually, no, he kind of looks like a Clark Kent. Very sort of geeky. Last one, Connor. The evil one. Okay, Connor. Don't go to the computer. Let's celebrate. I think it's perfect that there is yet another thunderstorm that's scaring everybody while we're aging up the alien hybrid spellcasting clones that are interested in archaeology and vampires and are self-absorbed. <laughs> and this one's probably going to be the worst, and I'm okay with that. I wonder if I should just pick deviancy. I don't know. I haven't actually had a deviant character uh, through randomizing traits in a while, so maybe I will. Galore was the last, and that was a while ago. Bye, children Ooh. quadruplets. Identical ones. Oh, here we go. Connor aged up. Okay, let's go right to the aspirations. I'm just going to go right to Chief of Mischief. I think that just works for him. He's a loner. And now let's pick a trait. Pick a random number between 1 and 48. The answer is 20. 20? He's squeamish. <laughs> he's, he's, he's a master of mischief, but he's squeamish. Sure, okay, why not? Let's have a look at him. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah, they all, they all have different haircuts, but they all kind of look similar. I don't know if they're identical anymore. And again, he is a spellcaster, so this is good. I think the very first one, the original, is making my day the most. I mean, how can you get some... <laughs> <laughs> How can you randomize a character like this? Oh, and he's thinking about doing his homework because you know what? Stray's well, the most well-rounded. He does a little bit of everything. So he's like, you know what? It's 2.30 in the morning on Monday. It's a thunderstorm. I can't sleep. The computer's broken. I can do my homework. And then I'm going to like, you know, fix my mohawk so it's ready for high school tomorrow. <laughs> Oh my god, I am so excited. I have ideas for the next part. Again, all my four main characters are doing things behind the scenes, which will come into play a little further down uh, the road. But we have four teenagers now. I know I did kind of rush them through childhood, but I wanted to get them to teenagers. I have a little bit of story to go with them, and then we got to move them out because we have the main story to keep continuing with. But now it's like... You know, at each step, it's like, oh, I just want to play them all. <laughs> Especially Stray, because he looks so cool. Maybe he'll stay, like I said, in the household a little bit longer than the rest. And that's okay. Anyway, I'm going to end it here. Thanks, everybody, for watching. I uh, really hope you enjoyed this. I really appreciate it. Till next time, peace and love.